The boys, CeeDee Lamb, not at mini camp, could potentially hold out. And we're going to see how this affects Cowboys' futures. Now, I don't think Larry and I think it's going to be too effective, considering we like CeeDee Lamb um, to have the most receiving yards in the season. But I'm the only person that's got something positive to say about the Cowboys. So, Larry, we'll start with you and their win total uh, over or under 10 and a half. Uh, under 10 and a half, Katie, even though they've won 12 each of the last three years, you don't just stand pat in the NFL with a lame duck head coach. Uh, all you do on <laughs> defense is add a 32-year-old linebacker. Uh, and on offense, all you do is add Zeke Elliott. I mean, to me, if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. You're not going to keep the same health that they had offensively. And you bring in a rookie left tackle who hasn't played left tackle, Tyler Guyton, to protect the blind side. And it starts week one against Miles Garrett. So you get a first place schedule because you won it last year. And here you look at that schedule. I think the Eagles take a step up. The Cowboys take a slight step back, finish 10 and 7. I'm in full agreement with the maestro here. I also like the Cowboys to stay under this 10 and a half total. Maestro mentioned uh, they really just stood pat in the offseason, lost numerous starters on both sides of the football. Seems like Dan Quinn took about a third of the defense with him uh, to Washington as well. So I just did not think the Cowboys really had a strong offseason whatsoever. Then when you compare that to the rest of the division, I thought the Eagles had a tremendous offseason. I think Washington had a great offseason uh, followed by a great draft as well. Wouldn't shock me to see the Cowboys uh, potentially finish with the third best record in the division. Uh, they're very top heavy. They rely very heavily on C.D. Lamb. If something were to happen to him, uh, I, I shudder to think what this passing offense would look like without C.D. Lamb. Is that this team just does not have the depth, in my opinion, of an 11-win team. Uh, they would just need to stay extremely healthy, and a lot of things would have to break in their favor. So I really like this under 10 and a half wins. And I also agree the Eagles got stronger. I think the commanders certainly got stronger. Uh, and I think the Cowboys are going to have a hard time winning 11 games this season. I'm in complete agreement here. I've actually taken the Cowboys to miss the playoffs at plus 156. That implies around 38%. And frankly, I think that number should be closer to 45%. Uh, I, I think they're playing for a wild card almost definitely. I think the Philadelphia Eagles are one of the best teams in the NFL. I'm really impressed with what they've done in the offseason. I think they're going to be difficult to stop. But as Alex mentioned, I think this Cowboys team is extremely fragile. They are extremely top-heavy. If anything goes wrong with CeeDee Lamb or Dak Prescott, this team becomes one of the lower-level teams in the NFL, in my opinion. I think the commanders have taken a massive step forward. But again, the schedule, while it's not terribly difficult, it's not super friendly either. When you start week one on the road against the Browns, you still have to play the Ravens, 49ers, and Cincinnati Bengals here. I think there's a chance because they're looking at a wild card or nothing here, uh, you could miss the playoffs. And I love the price point, plus 156. All right. Well, we agreed on everything uh, with the Vikings. And <laughs> I'm I'm the outlier here. I like the Cowboys to win the NFC East at plus 130. And, and when you look at this, the NFC East, it's still going to be the, the two horse race, right? Between the Cowboys and the Eagles. And y'all are high on Philly, but probably, you know, I'm not high on them this year. The Birds lost six of their final seven contests, including in the playoffs. When we look at Dallas, they went four and two in the NFC East, eight and four in the conference overall. Um, and yes, Mike, you bring up a very good point how they're top heavy. And if anything goes wrong, um, that this could be uh, detrimental to them. But I, I don't think that, that Philadelphia is bouncing back too much. I still think the commanders are maybe a year away, maybe from being a year away. So give me the boys uh, plus the uh, uh, to win the NFC East at plus 130.